A young woman remains in custody tonight facing charges for allegedly stabbing her mother to death in a house in El Monte. The victim had multiple stab wounds and was reportedly also decapitated. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is there live with the very latest on this tragic story. Leanne. Javon and Mark detectives describing the crime scene as extremely graphic. That victim stabbed multiple times. A mother allegedly murdered by her own daughter. A tragic case on so many levels. A gruesome discovery captured by Air 7 as detectives remove what appears to be the victim's head from a trash can. Neighbors say she'd had her throat slit, apparently decapitated. The suspect, her own daughter. There's blood on that side, there's blood on the floors. The horrifying scene unfolding just before 5 Sunday evening at the Zelmani home. The victim's brother, who lives in the front house, says he heard a scream and then his 11-year-old nephew ran out yelling for help. His shirt yeah. soaked with blood after apparently witnessing the grisly scene. He says maybe they argued, but to tell you the truth, I don't know. Friends say the suspect, 25-year-old Kimberly Gonzalez, struggled with drugs. Her mother, Jacqueline Perez, was raising her two grandchildren as well as Gonzalez's three siblings. She was a really good mom. She was a great mom. She was a really good mom. She had just a new uh, three-year-old. She had a new baby. Decorations from a child's birthday party Saturday still hanging as detectives canvass the crime scene. Neighbors say they heard a commotion, one woman crossing paths with the fleeing suspect. She was coming out and then she rushed back in because she saw somebody running that way, saw the cops coming this way. A path of bloody footprints led out onto the street where neighbors say Gonzalez was hiding between two cars. That's where she was taken into custody. She's being held on $2 million bail.